I've been very vocal about this in past videos. Besides AirPods, I still prefer to use wired Bluetooth earbuds for working out at the gym, like the Powerbeats 3 or the Jaybird X4, because they usually have a longer battery life, the Bluetooth connection is more stable, they cost less, and they have an inline controller. And the guys over at Bleak seem to agree, because they sent out their Hummingbird Bluetooth earbuds for testing and were awesome enough to sponsor today's video. And honestly, these are a really good pair of budget-friendly earbuds for working out. The Bleak Hummingbirds come in a black or white colorway and they retail for $68. But there's also a red colorway like the one I have here, but that one retails for $74. But you know me, if there's a red option, then most likely I'm going to go with that one. If you want to pick these earbuds up, I'll have links in the description down below. First, let's go over what comes in the box, cause there's a lot. The Bleak Hummingbirds come included with a hot gel carrying case that magnetically latches up. So you're not gonna have to worry about these earbuds if you throw them into your gym bag. And they also come included with a micro USB cable for charging. The Hummingbirds also come included with a total of eight pairs of silicone ear tips. These are standard round ones that come included with most other earbuds, and these are the ones that I personally like to use. But there's also round and conal biflange ear tips for people who want a more secure fit. And finally, the Hummingbirds also come included with a lifetime warranty, so if they unexpectedly stop playing music, or if the battery dies, Bleak has you covered. Personally, for working out, I've always preferred wireless earbuds with an ear hook design because no matter what you do, they'll always stay in place. Even though ear fins do do a decent job of staying in place as well, I found that they're not as foolproof as having a full-on ear hook. And that's one of the reasons why I like the Hummingbird so much. Their ear hook design keeps them in place no matter if I'm dismounting from a pull-up bar or if I'm doing my morning cardio on the treadmill. And in general, the Hummingbirds fit me like a glove. They're very lightweight, so you hardly notice when they're in. And there's a cinch on the cable, which you can tighten if you want an even more secure fit. Another thing I really like about the Hummingbirds is their battery life. They have an advertised battery life of 14 and a half hours, and for me, I can go five full workouts in between charges with these earbuds, which for wireless earbuds like these, that's a lot, because the Powerbeats 3 are good for about four workouts. And the Hummingbirds also have fast charging. If you plug them in for 10 minutes from a dead battery, they're gonna get you one hour of playback time. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, one of the main reasons why I still prefer to use wired Bluetooth earbuds like these is because of their connection stability, something that I feel truly wireless sports earbuds still struggle with. And the Hummingbirds have a stable connection that doesn't cut out, it can go through multiple walls, and they actually have very little latency, so they're pretty good for watching YouTube videos on your phone. But the biggest reason why I still prefer to use wired Bluetooth earbuds at the gym is because of the inline controller. Like some people refuse to give up on the headphone jacks on phones, I refuse to give up on inline controllers. With an inline controller, you're able to fully control your music playback without having to use your phone or voice assistant for simple stuff like adjusting the volume, pausing your music, or skipping through your tracks. And the inline controller on the Hummingbird is very good. The buttons are very well laid out and they have a lot of tactile feedback, which I wish more earbuds had these days. But something that not a lot of earbuds have that the Hummingbirds do is an ambient mode. If you double press the center button twice, then the earbuds will pause your music and pump in all of the ambient sound so you can talk to someone without having to take your earbuds out. And this feature does come in handy if someone at the gym asks you a quick question, like how many sets you have left or if you'll spot them on their next lift. And when it comes to sound quality, the Hummingbirds have a neutral sound signature. Their bass isn't as exaggerated like the Powerbeats 3, but it's still present. They also get significantly loud, but I found that with a proper seal, you never really have to go above 90% volume with these earbuds. So overall, I feel the Bleak Hummingbirds are a solid pair of budget-friendly earbuds for working out. They bring a lot of value for the price. They're very lightweight and their ear hook design makes sure they stay in place at all times, no matter how intense your workout gets. They have a very long battery life for wireless earbuds, so you can go multiple workouts without having to charge them, and their Bluetooth connection is just as stable as more expensive Bluetooth earbuds. And given with the fact that Bleak gives you a lifetime warranty, that's a very nice added bonus. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. Support the channel by clicking on the links down below, and I'll catch you next time.